Melissa Rump from Indianapolis, Indiana, and this is the Rosie O'Donnell Show. On today's show, Robert, Robert Wagner, Jerry Hallowell, and Allie McBeal's Portia Jirasi. Hit it, John! <laughs> shocked a lot of people when she left the Spice Girls at the height of their popularity. Now she's back in the spotlight, this time as a solo artist, performing Look At Me from her brand new CD. Please give it up for the one and only Jerry Hallowell! Good looking, bad tasting, full bodied, bad wasted, loose living, what you see ain't what you are getting Big makeup, little makeup She wants it, he's got it Cold-blooded, hot gossip Superficial expectations Look at me You can take it all because this face is free Maybe next time use your eyes
about two year old boy. Hi, back with Jerry Hollowell, who uh, is here, and I'm so happy. And that was your first live performance it of this song. I was really nervous at first. And you did great! Good to be back. It really is. I'm delighted to be back. Schizophonic is the name yeah. of the CD. It comes out tomorrow. I read it on the prompter and I thought that must have been a misprint. Yes, yeah, because yeah, I made up the word. You see, that's why. Yeah. But I want to say, I want to say a big um, sorry to everybody that I pulled out of the tour last year. I did have my reasons why I left the Spice Girls, and so I am sorry. And I'm back, and uh, I'll hope you accept me the way I am now. Oh yes. We love you. In or out of the Spice Girls. Thank you. I will tell you this, though. We did a whole piece with little kids. Did you? Because little kids were devastated by this, you know. Were they? And I said, why do you think that Jerry left? And you know what they all said? What? They said, because Scary Spice was mean to her. Well, the way I explain it to, you know, most children, it's like, you know, lots of mummies and daddies, they get divorced. You know, I was in love with them, and, you know, I had a passionate romance with them. And then at a time in your life, you're not in love anymore, and it's the wrong reasons to stay. And I, and I wanted to leave at the end of the American tour, because you can't get better than that doing America. And then, but I left prematurely because a breast cancer interview got cancelled. And, you know, I've always talked about girl power. Right. And, um, and I really meant that. And so if I couldn't speak about, you know, breast cancer, which is a serious women's issue, I just thought, you know, my priorities are wrong. I, want, I think in this business, your ego can eat your heart up. So it's important to keep your feet on the ground. So I thought, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to leave. So I'm really sorry, and I hope you understand. Well, you know what? You have your own reasons, and you yes. got to follow your heart, you yes, know? Basically. I was telling Jerry at the commercial that I would not have recognized you I had know. I seen you on the street. You look totally different. Well, that look at me, that single, is about how we're all obsessed about what we look like. And yes. I think, you, you say the word crap, I think the way uh, we get obsessed with ourselves is, you know, is bull crap. We should just take each other on, uh, not on face value, but who you are as a human being. Uh, in that lyrics in the song, it says, it's all about labels like you're beautiful, you're fat, you're thin, you're gorgeous, you're gay, you're black. And I just find that you've got to see past that just as human beings. That's the nicest way to operate. I agree. That's I what think that the universality of that. Yeah. I agree with you. Now, you recently performed for Prince Charles. you got to be scared doing that. I, I did, and I went to the toilet nine times. If you ever get constipated, go sing to Prince Charles. Oh, I have to say, I went to the toilet twice before this show, so I was quite You nervous. did? Yeah. Well, little old me, what would I say? Yeah. I wouldn't do anything harmful. Now, Prince Charles, though, now, I understand, didn't one of the young boys have a crush on you all? Um, I just think they're like any other, you know, two young boys. You know, they're human beings, and... We all fancy people. I used to fancy George Michael. Right. So, you know, that's fine and healthy. Have you become friends with him since you've been Yeah, when I left the Spice Girls, I was really lonely. Because it is like leaving a marriage. You're not just saying goodbye to your partner. You're saying goodbye to the family, the friends, and everything. It was like starting all over. And I was desperately lonely. And George Michael, he was just such a sweet person to me. He said, come and stay at mine. You know, and he just gave me emotional support, so that was good. Although I'm not his type. So, <laughs> but that was very sweet of him yeah, to reach very out nice. like Sometimes that. Sometimes angels come down when you just need it. You know, we all go times in our life when we feel up and down. Actually, the album, I think every woman in America will identify with my album. You know, I'm 26 years old and I wrote about um, emotional mood swings. You know when you've got like PMS and you feel, one minute you feel really agitated, the next minute you're reflective, then you're up and you're down. It's, yeah. That's what albums are. Like. Very entertaining. You, you're going to want to dance around it in your underwear. Really? <laughs> Yeah, that's In that what case, for. let's play it during the commercial. Yeah. Let's see what happens. <laughs> now, um, you're going to be touring with this? Well, that's you know, up to the great um, American public. It really is. I mean, I've got a band together. If you want me to do it, I'd, I'd love to. I was going past Madison Square Gardens the other day, and I was thinking, God, I'm, you know, I'm a bit gutted. I'm a bit disappointed I didn't get the chance. So, if you give me the chance, I'd love to do you're it. You're kidding? So the people will be lining up for days. My niece. My niece is your biggest fan. I want fan. you to come. I'll come. You invite me. I want women come. to come across America. Are you? Have you been seeing any New York shows while you're here? Any Broadway shows? Well, I, have, I don't want to name drop, but I have got a friend in New York called Alan Cummings. I think you know from yes. Cabaret. Yeah, Cabaret, and I've seen that twice. That's very good. So um, Tony Award winner. His he's yeah, just he's done brilliant. very well. He was also in the Spice Girl movie. He was. And that's where we met. But you know, I don't know if anyone's seen my video yet. But I kind of try. I'm, I like all that kind of over camp, you know, musical stuff. And I, you know, I try and make mini musicals in my videos. I try and be entertaining. Have you seen it yet? I haven't. No, sorry. No, it's all right. I play these four characters, like what women are. I play a virgin, a, f a vamp, a nun, 
and um, a workaholic. And I think, you know, women have to take on so many roles in life. I mean, you do. Yeah. I think we're all of them and none of them. I don't take on the vamp one too much. Oh, I'm sure you do. I've seen <laughs> Jerry, you. please. I saw Jerry. you on the front cover of Marie Claire and oh. you look gorgeous. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, I should bring it up. Yeah, anyway. Nice. The thing is, um, I just wanted to say that I thought it was so wonderful that you donated all of your uh, Spice Girls costumes to yeah. charity, and you raised like 300 grand doing that. Yeah, I mean, I'm a great believer in... Thank you. I, I, you know, what is the point of, you know, when I'm a grandmother showing my grandkids, saying, look, this is my um, Union Jack <laughs> dress, and they're going, Oh, great, grandmother, well, they're playing their Nintendo. I don't think your possessions should possess you. You should travel light, through life lightly. I agree. You know, what's the point? What can I do with them? Exactly. So, you remember the memories and let somebody else enough. Exactly. have them who's going to feel good about it and make some it's money. Brilliant. That's what we try to do here, too, and I think it's great that you did it. Yeah. Schizophonic I, is the CD. It is. And it's it comes out tomorrow. out tomorrow. And I know everyone will run and get it. Can I say something? You're delightful. Oh, thank you. You're oh. like Nice people are chatting. Nice people. This is a nice Because we show. didn't get a chance to chat, really, because there were, you know, all of yeah. you were here last time. Yeah, I think, you know, nice people are chatting. Nice people. It can be a horrible world, so it's best to try, you know, give a bit of love and be kind. That's what I, think. I agree. <laughs> Up next, Portia de Rossi. Don't go away. We'll be right back.